Western Cape DA Speaker Masizole Mkarsela has launched a new political party in time for next year's elections. Now, the Alliance of Citizens for Change, Mkarsela says it isn't true that he formed it in reaction to being booted out of the Democratic Alliance. But some Cape Torians say more political parties aren't helping the country to move forward. ENCA's Nobesutu Hejana reports. Masizole Mkarsela says... For years, he had to put up with people who did not realize the importance of an equal society. And though he tried to fight for it within the party he was fired from, his former colleagues still did not act on their promises to better the lives of the poor. He says he plans to change all of that through his own political party, the Alliance of Citizens for Change. This is a people's movement, a social justice movement, whose only task is to, able, to be able to bring people together and say to South Africans, it does not matter who you are, where you come from, and the color of your skin, or the accident of your birth. People must feel that they matter, and this is the vehicle. I could not do it where I come from. Those people don't believe that there was colonialism. They don't believe that there was apartheid. They don't believe that there's inequality in this country. Ngasela says that should the party be voted to parliament, he plans to table a bill that allows political parties and coalitions to push for their own policies. If you get votes in Mitchell's Plain, you will be in parliament, in cabinet, to represent the constituents of Mitchell's Plain in government, so that people that voted in those numbers do not feel neglected. He says they'll be contesting in all nine provinces during next year's general elections. Potential voters in the mother city have mixed feelings about seeing even more political parties added on the ballot. They all promise the same thing as I say now, but we are struggling this side and they are not like we voting for them, but they're not helping us. So what can we do now? At the end of the day, they're opening these political parties, they're getting funding, and then they use it for corruption just once again. Look at our unemployment. What are they doing for the youth? So if you're telling me that you're going to establish a new party and you're going to do good things for people, what have you done already? If they give us the jobs, then we can actually see and say that these people are trying. They're not doing it, but they are trying. So if they can try and give us opportunities like job creations, anything, anything just give every person a fair chance these new all these new parties are saying things that people want to hear they're not implementing anything and they're not getting the power they're not getting the backing from from the youngsters because we've been disappointed in the past political analyst Kushe Zwagala says the political landscape of coalition governments gives politicians hope that they too can be in government Zwagala questions whether Ngasela has enough support I'm by no way suggesting that Masizole is not a prominent leader. It, it require, he has served his time within the DA. However, I'm not sure that he has got the, the credentials uh, um, to contest on a national uh, platform. So forming a political party it does require a, a prominent leaders with credentials, um, especially from a governance performance point of view. Uh, secondly, it requires a substantial following. Now, he was a speaker in the, in the legislature. Um, it does he possess uh, some of the things I've, I've mentioned and, and other uh, um, uh, traits, so to speak? I don't think so. Nobesutu Echana, Cape Town.